Bill Gates' firm is planning a smart city in Arizona. Forget your smartphone. How about a smart city? A real estate investment firm owned by Bill Gates has invested 80 million U.S. dollars in a project to build a smart city called Belmont in the Arizona desert, 50 miles west of Phoenix. Belmont would be constructed on a flexible infrastructure model that can accommodate high-speed digital networks, data centers, advanced manufacturing, and distribution models. The smart city will have 3,800 acres for office, commercial, and retail space. 470 acres will be allotted for public schools. Belmont will also have 80,000 residential units. One of the reasons Belmont was chosen is its location next to the proposed Interstate 11 freeway. If completed, Interstate 11 would connect the Belmont area to Las Vegas. Still need a construction fix? Keep watching. Saudi Arabia plans to build a $500 billion megacity. Looking for a new vacation destination? How about Saudi Arabia? No, seriously. The Saudi Arabian government says it plans to build a $500 billion megacity that stretches into Jordan and Egypt and is completely powered by renewable energy. The project is called NEOM and will measure 10,230 square miles, which is 33 times larger than New York City. One of the main goals of NEOM will be to diversify Saudi Arabia's economy in an attempt to move it beyond oil. The megacity will focus on industries such as energy and water, biotechnology, food, advanced manufacturing, and entertainment. The $500 billion will come from the Saudi government, its sovereign wealth fund, and local and international investors. Google is getting a new campus. Google's application to build a new campus has been approved by the Mountain View City Council. Google's new campus, Charleston East, will be located next to the current Googleplex in Mountain View, California. The new campus is set to feature a 595,000 square foot, two-level office building with a basement. The roof will be installed with solar panels. The irregularly shaped clear stories are designed to bring direct, indirect, and diffused natural light into the building. The glass is equipped with automated shading devices that allow localized daylighting control. The ground floor of the building is open to the public, with a pedestrian pathway cutting through the building. Visitors can enter the building to dine and shop in the same restaurants and shops as Google employees. The new campus will also feature a plaza for the public to relax and enjoy performances. The second floor of the building will be used as office space for Google employees. The new building reportedly will hold up to 2,700 staff members. It's expected to be completed in late 2019. Design for another major London skyscraper revealed. Plans have been unveiled for the construction of a skyscraper in the city of London, which would match the height of the city's current tallest building. A skyscraper to be named One Undershaft will become one of the tallest buildings in the historic center known as the City of London, which is north of the River Thames. The 73-floor structure is intended to provide office space. It will host a public viewing gallery and restaurant at the top of the building and a public space at the bottom. The building faces London's current tallest building, the Shard, across the river. Developers say the building will rise to the same height as the Shard, at 309.6 meters. The official completion date of the building has not yet been announced. However, plans are to put the building into use within the next decade. A skyscraper designed to eat carbon dioxide. The construction of a carbon-eating, eco-friendly skyscraper in Taipei is expected to be complete in September of this year. The architect of the residential building says he hopes the structure can help battle air pollution. The Taozu Yinyuan Tower features one central core tower, with two helicoidal towers around it. The design was inspired by the double helix of a DNA strand. Some 23,000 trees and shrubs will fill the tower's facade roof and balconies. This is reportedly just slightly fewer than the number of trees in New York Central Park. The 21-story tower features 40 luxury condos, hallways with glass flooring, and a swimming pool. The 1,000-square-meter photovoltaic roof is designed to convert solar energy into electricity for the building. Rainwater will also be collected and recycled in the building. The plants in the tower will absorb 130 tons of carbon dioxide emissions per year, which is the equivalent of about 27 cars. 
Taiwan reportedly produced more than 250 million tons of carbon dioxide in 2014. Clearly, Taipei City will need more than one carbon-eating building in order to counter the pollution produced. However, whether more will be constructed remains to be seen.